Blue <laughs> Guys, so, uh, we heard of a haunted place somewhere in Geraldton that's really creepy, right? As people start hearing some low tone voice of some weird person talking about something like flack or whatever. Now, I hear they can only be summoned if we purchase $50 worth of McDonald's hamburgers and set them up in a pentagram. So that's what we're going to be doing today, everybody. We're going to be buying $50 worth of hamburgers and setting them up in a pentagram. And we're going to try and summon this disembodied spirit and free them from the mortal realm. Finally. It's a long and perilous journey all the way to the nearest McDonald's. I'm sitting right here with a... With a bit of a shiver, I've heard some pretty bad stories. What do you think is gonna happen, Elijah? Do you think that these ghosts are real? I don't know. Never believed in ghosts. Always believed in God. Um, some would beg to differ and say God is a ghost. But uh, to them I would reply, your mum. And so, yeah, honestly I don't know about this one. Elijah is ever the skeptic, but I think this time he might be convinced they're real. I have been working with him for at least 25 years, and we are basically the mystery machine. But okay, whatever it is, Elijah, I don't know why you're still a skeptic. Guys, alrighty, we're here at the Kadama Wolves. As we see, there is a shrine in tribute to Ronald, the first ghost hunter to ever exist. And as a show of diversity, he was also a ghost himself here. Damn. First step, we got to scan the area for ethereal activity. There has been no ethereal activity here. There's no now to make the purchase. I think the item only is two bucks. Oh yeah, it is just two bucks. So you just got to keep clicking. That is it. Maybe Okay, you are allowed it. I bought 25 oh, hamburgers. Alrighty guys, so we got the got the hamburgers are in the back there. It's chock a block. It's 25 right there. Also got a cheeky little frozen drink. We're not gonna talk about that. What do you think, Elijah? Do you think we can summon the known Chomsky ghost? I mean, like I said, not one for ghosts, but I feel like this is a strongly believed myth in the town of Geraldton. And so I'm sure we will be able to find out. We are going to see, we're going to the house, the owner who has agreed to let us look around the, uh, the uh, what's it called, vicinity. We might actually convince them that we, there are ghosts here for once. The storm seemed to be settling in and getting stronger and stronger as we approached the haunted place that we were heading towards. It was kind of getting a little crazy. You know, the oceans were even starting to go crazy. Everything was just starting to get a bit creepy for me. I was getting a bit of the heebie-jeebies, yeah? It was a bit, bit insane. I don't know what to do. Um, so we just kept going because we had to soldier on, you know. This is very important that we just kept going forward. You know, you, know, you don't go backwards. The seas were rising. The storm was settling. And I'm pretty sure it was settling exactly where it was going to go, where we were going to go. It was... Oh, uh, never ever felt so creepy, but we kept going on because we are committed to our viewers here. We are committed to our audience. I just had this great idea. I'm gonna get one of those toasty makers and cook bacon with it. Oh right, the haunted place. Anyway, um, we're turning into the suburb now. Um, it's called Bum Nowhere. Uh, Jerome, Western Australia. Um, it's near Walker Kai. Anyway. We, I'm kind of getting a little bit shaky, okay? I'm getting a bit shaky. All right, getting a bit shaky. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna fucking, we're gonna release some fucking ghosts. I'm kind of scared. I've heard a lot of creepy stuff. What do you think, Elijah? That is an obstetute observ <laughs> obs <laughs> observation that you have made there. God, guys, it was insane. I was just friggin', we were about to set up the pentagram right here, and then this tree just fell down, right? Spooked up the dogs and everything. It's crazy. It's bloody crazy. We placed all the hamburgers into a pentagonal shape. 
The storm outside was brewing stronger. I knew that this was a very dangerous task, but we kept soldiering on. We needed to know what was up with this place and the disembodied spirit of this ghost. So we've got the praying grave set up. Now we've got to do one more thing, and it's pretty dangerous. In order to get the ghost summoned, we need a conduit, which means that I am going to have to be the conduit. I'm gonna get possessed by this ghost. What I gotta do is I gotta sit in the circle and hum the summoning chant. Stop, whatever. Alrighty guys, we had a lot of fun here. I did have to sacrifice my friend Elijah to the ghost so that I could be unpossessed and able to exist still. I have seen the end of the universe, which was pretty dope. It did make me go intensely insane for the rest of my life, but that's okay. Okay guys, if you want to see more cool ghost stories, remember to like, subscribe, and press that f***ing bell, my boys. I'm serious. Today, I think Elijah might have actually believed in the ghost, considering he was completely incorporealized by the dead embodiment of Noam Chomsky, who, at the time of recording, wasn't even dead yet. That's the most insane part. Alrighty, guys. I gotta see you now. Goodbye. Ciao.